Hey man, hey man, hey man, welcome back y'all. This is your girl Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio. Today is August 30th, 2012. Did I not say that this morning? I do apologize if I didn't. It's really <laughs> no excuses, right? No excuses. <laughs> Alright, so we got some more music for you. I got a new song by uh, Chason Smith. He's been out for a little bit. Um, it's not a Christian song. Um, he may be Christian. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll see if I can get an interview with him. But um, I'm playing this song because when I was listening to the song, I thought about all the married couples out there uh, that... Uh, they say they have that seven year itch where they want to go out and find somebody else. You look. I don't believe in that. Or um, somebody's been married for like, you know, one year and then they all of a sudden, wow, you know, it's boring now. Ah, oh, that's so crazy. I don't care if you're married for one day, one year, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. You should find a way to find your spouse interesting. So I'm playing this song because this guy, he talks about this girl and he's like, it's like, you know what, I'm, you know, look, we here, we here forever, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm thinking of it. I'm just thinking, every time you look at your spouse, it should be as if you saw them for the very first time. So I'm playing this song to encourage all the married folks out there to look at your spouse like you just saw them for the first time, even if you've been married for 10, 15 years, or one year, or 50 years. When you look at them, look at them like you looked at them when you first saw them. When you got all hot and bothered just by them entering the room like, oh my goodness, I got to be with that person. I want to love them forever. She's sexy. Oh, he's so handsome. Ooh. Ooh. So here we go. Uh, All Night by Chase on Smith. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> Man hits in the building. Chase on in the building. Provoke. Six I see her rolling through town, she knows I'm pretty girl Any time of the night, she knows I like it Any kind of different way, that's excitement I can feel my needs by any means All the fantasies and all the dreams so I just wanna love you, girl Cause you're the one for me, yeah. Ride it, do it, don't stop getting through it Break it down, break it down, break it down, girl Break it down, break it down
a city boy. I'm in the streets, son. I love the sunshine. I'm a beach bum. I hit the taco shop. I love to eat some. You know where we from? SD, son. So put them up, put them up. Get out, San Diego got it good, that's what some say. Whips looking clean in the crib, looking feng shui. Ain't a cloud that be standing in the sun's way. Every booty on the beach got that dumb sway. All the homies fresh and we swag it up. Finest girls in the world and they tat it up. You find a California girl, you better bag her up. Invite my homies from New York and they ain't had enough. Mission Beach, OB and IB, baby. We can't cruise the streets. We ride till the wheels fall off until we can. Yeah, we on one. Feeling awesome, frivolous with the dollar bill, so we toss some. You can't do it like us, boy, you far fetched. They go in the building, you getting bomb threats. I'm in PB, I'm at Bar West, I'm going downtown. I'm all dressed, looking flyer than your chick, no contest. And I'm leaning hard like I, like I had an armrest. Dash, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you from Dago, put your hands up. Yeah. I'm a city boy, I'm in the street, son. I love the sunshine. I'm a beach bum. I hit the taco shop, I love to eat some. You know where we from, SD, son. So put them up, put them up. Yo, I'm trying to find the way for y'all to best relate So if you Dago City living, you can catch me straight I'm finna have a house party up at SD State 20 girls make it 30, homie, let's be safe The next day, you know we rolling the Mission Beats Looking shouty, body is smoking like Swiss Sweets Gotta have it, get in a number to hit the sheets Automatic, <laughs> now don't get all dramatic I get romantic, so shouty don't get frantic I bring your flowers and all of them is handpicked I keep you fresh, girl, I can keep you fancy But you gon' fall in love with me Man, I don't want to chance it Cause if she's a San Diego girl Then she parties all night and day And chances are She's a San Diego girl So she parties all night yeah. and day Yeah, yeah, yeah But it's okay California expose If you ain't rocking with it, homie Then you getting no play You better no take Sip before these popping rosé Mix a little O.E. with a little O.J. I'm feeling so great But why they always gotta go hey They get their face slapped against the wall Like they was Obey So where you from, homie? Oh, you ain't from no place So cool Right on the border if you're trying to locate hey. I'm a city boy I'm in the street, son I love the sunshine I'm a beach bum I hit the taco shop I love to eat some You know where we from SD, son So put them up, put them up Put them up, put them up You know where we from SD, son You know where we from SD, son
Hey man, that was Word on Fire by Ot Trina Bond. O T T R I N A Bond. I do apologize. I put La Trina because so, everybody's used to hearing La Trina, not Ot Trina. So that's what I heard Ot Trina until I just looked it up. I'm like, man. So let me just check. So um, it's Ot Trina Bond, and um, I'm gonna put a link up in the chat for her video for this song. All right, and um. We got an altar call. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to give you my piece. My bag. <laughs> All right, so real quick, my piece, amen. And it's real simple. It's what I've said before. Vote. That's my piece today. I want you to vote. Register to freaking vote. Everybody's always complaining that, you know, they don't care about us. We're the little people. Little people as a collective are not little. When you get together, and vote to make your voice heard you are like a roaring lion they have no other choice but to hear you so when you register to vote you are taking the power because remember every politician every senator congressman representative are supposed to represent every president <clears throat> every person running for president is supposed to represent the voice of the people if they are not representing the voice of all the people when they are running and doing their campaigns, that is not the right person. It's as plain and simple. You can't just be for the poor. You can't just be for the rich. You got to be for all of them. All right? Now, most of y'all know I'm an Obama supporter. But I, I'm not prejudiced against Romney. It's just that Romney has said over and over again, I don't worry about them little people. I don't worry about the middle class focusing on the rich because he he's trying to he was trying to steal delegates by being able, by trying to pass a law saying that the uh, people running for president can select the delegates. That's against the Constitution. But they backed out at the last minute. Thank God. No politician should be able to choose the delegates. That's still in the race. That's moving the people out of the selection process. The government is made up of the body of the people. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. It's us. 1775, the fight against Britain for our freedom was for the whole collective of people. It wasn't just for the rich. It wasn't just for the poor. It was for the whole collective of people. So... As your forefathers fought for you and black, white, Spanish alike, whoever was in this country fought for freedom. As your grandparents fought for that freedom, how dare you give it up? How dare you give it up? So get your butt up. Go freaking register to vote. You can do it online. You can go to one of the offices. But get your butt up. You are not allowed to sit down and just complain. Get up. Cast your vote. Amen. And tell them what you want. Alright. That's my piece. Alright. Up next we got Take Me For A Ride by Leah Marie. Amen. Then we got an altar call in about uh, eight minutes. Eight or nine minutes.
this dream of yesterday. All those times I felt like packing up and running. Well, I was shallow and naive to feel that way. Cause I am so alive. I, and I can still get by. Oh, and learn to love again. Amen, amen, amen. This is your girl, Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio, and it is time for the altar call, y'all. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That includes married people, too. Don't think that once you get married, then, you know, it's all over. You know, I'm not single no more. Jesus don't care about me because I'm married. I got a covering for my husband. Jesus still care about you. Jehovah still cares about you. He blessed marriage. And he wants y'all to look at each other. He wants you to lust after each other. He don't want you looking to your right or to your left for what else for whatever else you can get because he blessed marriage. And if you trust him, he will make your sex life as hot as it was before you got married or make it better, but you gotta trust him with it. Or he can make the love for your your husband greater than you ever imagined. Or your husband's love for you greater than he ever imagined. So he can fix it all if you just give it all to him. And it starts by giving your life to Christ. You know, you got to give it up to him. Say, okay, Lord, I'm done with all this stuff. You know, look, fix me, use me, save me, Jesus. Amen. So you really just got to take the time to just give it all to the Lord. And don't worry about what other people are thinking about you. Don't worry about um, how it may look to your friends. Don't worry about, you know, not, don't worry about what other people are going to think of you because what, when it comes down to it, it's about you and your relationship with Christ and your spouse. 
that those are the most important those are the two most important relationships you can ever ever have and the next one after that is then your children so believe it or not your spouse actually comes before your children because if your marriage is not right there's no way you will ever treat those children right there's no way you can't even show them a good marriage or a good relationship if your relationship with your spouse is sour and bitter all right so let's take this opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ and what I want you to do is to repeat this prayer confession after me because if you confess with your mouth Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you shall be saved amen and it's really as simple as that so the prayer confession goes like this and repeat after me Lord I know I am a sinner I know I can't earn or buy my way into heaven I want to know your pure love. Lord, I freely accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord of my life from this day forward. I give my life to you, Jesus Christ. Direct me in all my ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in the blood of Jesus. Set me in an atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church. In your name, Jesus, thank you. Amen. Amen. It's really as simple as that. Now, the next thing you do is you want to get your Bible. You can get version or Christianity.com or get one from the dollar store, whatever. And start off with the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. And read it every day. Read a chapter every day. Go to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash L-U-T-G radio. And then what you want to do is um, click on the link that says find a church. And go ahead and get a church that's near you. Uh, or ask God to direct you to the right church. It may not be across the street from you, but you may have to take a drive or a little bus or something. But you want to get the right church so you can take some foundation classes and some intercessory classes so you can grow in Christ Jesus. Amen? And it's also important that when you're married, that you pray together. You're supposed to pray individually because you each have an have a, a individual relationship with Christ. But then with Christ, with Jehovah, which is the Father, Christ the Son, Holy Spirit, the Comforter. You're supposed to have a relationship, an individual relationship, and then you come together as one unit and you pray. Alright? So you definitely want to remember to pray together. It's good if you do it in the morning because it sets your whole day. Even if it's only for a few minutes, it sets your whole day. So you want to take that time out and and it actually brings the two of you closer together. So that uh, you young married folks, so that you're not fighting all the time, or some of you older married folks, so that you're not fighting, so that you're not holding animosity towards each other, so that you're you're caring and loving towards one another. And it's not good to manipulate your spouse. It's not even necessary. When you come correct with your spouse, you know what I'm saying, and do it by the word of God, they will respect you for that. A lot of men say, well, I want her to respect me. Show her some love and she will respect you. And wives. Show him some respect and he'll love you. But don't constantly complain. You got a complaint, take it to Jesus. It's as simple as that. Take it to Jesus. All right. Up next in the next segment, we got birthdays. And so give me five minutes. I'll cue it back up. Go to, uh, just click on the logo on a LUTG, on a Facebook, for, Facebook.com forward slash LUTG radio. Takes you to the website. The show streams live from the website. Amen. You can also click the logo on the website and also bring you to the individual show. You can also put it on your iPod and any cell phone. All right. Thank you for your love by Kevin Jenkins. Taking us out. Ooh, yeah. 